Up next, Green Strawberries Viper Mark 7 exterior and cockpit PE set. Hey everybody, it's Kenny Conklin from SciFiAnnecy.com and welcome to another YouTube video review. Today we're going to be going over Green Strawberries, Mobius Models, Mark 7 Viper, exterior and cockpit detail set. The kit over here was sent to us courtesy of Green Strawberry to do the review for you guys. So we'll check that out and see what it's all about. And we, again, we'd like to thank everybody that's been hitting the subscribe button and notification icon. If you haven't, please do. This way you get notified of all our upcoming videos. So let's get over to the bench and see what's going on. Okay, the usual packaging for the Green Strawberry kits in the cellophane with a tab on the back to pull open. It's got the hard cardboard backing to keep this guy in place but the only thing missing as usual is tape to keep it in place when you're taking it out so let's see what we got in the package itself okay inside the package comes the directions the photo etch and two sheets one for lighting one for not lighting so let's take a look at these as usual the first thing we look at is the direction sheet for the kit itself so it goes through putting together the control panels, the displays. Just be careful when you're choosing things because there are two options for stuff. If you're gonna stick with E, you stick with E, J, and F. Anything with a one is the second way to do it. So just be careful while you're doing that. Goes through how to put the control panels together, seat belts, some parts of the landing gear, the lip on the cockpit itself, more stuff for the cockpit. And then finally, how to put the whole cockpit into the cockpit area of the model and the nose cone. So let's take a look at some of the other parts. Okay, the first up is the paper sheet with the controls on it, the radar, and the good stuff like that, buttons and all sorts of stuff that, if you're gonna use this, this is not for lighting. This you'll put on there, this way you have color on the control panels and get to see that. It also has the remove before flight banners this way you can put those on your model and make it look like it's in the hangar bay so let's look at the second part that's used for lighting the second is a small piece of plastic sheet with the radar displays that you'll be able to light up behind it putting different color lights you'll see the buttons and stuff it's kind of hard to see but right in there you can see a whole bunch of buttons the radar another display over there which is nicely done you put this behind the PE you put your lights and all your instrumentations will be lit up and you won't have to worry about trying to run small fiber optics in there. Okay, we'll take a look at the first half of the sheet. Up here you have the cockpit tub, which is a big part of the sheet itself. It's actually pretty much the whole cockpit. Then you have the seat belt latches, a few small details over here, part for the nose cone, uh, some more pieces for the cockpit tub itself, instrumentation, You'll see over here where it's cut out and you'll be able to light it up. And then down over here, some more small detail pieces for the kit. So let's flip this around and see the other half of it. Okay, the second half has the instrumentation cluster, another instrumentation panel here. Again, you can see where the cutouts are and you'll be able to light that up. Some knobs and stuff for extra detail. Also the belt buckles, not belt buckles, the seat belts themselves to run through the belt buckle, another heads up display, some more instrumentation can be put in here because this is part of the cockpit. You also have the nose cone grills over here and fine small detail parts and it looks like again a couple antennas over here that can be placed on the kit. So that's all that's on this PE fret. Okay so that's it for this review. There's only one fret in the kit and it comes with everything, your cockpit and all the instrumentation clusters and everything like that. We'd like to say a big thank you to Green Strawberry for send, sending this over. And again, we're gonna be doing builds with these so you're gonna actually get to see these in use. If you're interested in these, you can go to Green Strawberry site or you can go to HDA Model Works, which we'll put links to both of those in the description below. And again, we'd like to say thank you to everybody that's been here hitting that subscribe button and the notification icon. If you haven't yet, please do it. This way you don't miss any videos coming from us here at SciFiAnnecy.com. So that's it for the night. I hope you guys are doing well and we'll see you all soon. Take care and bye-bye.